One of my New Year's resolutions this year has been to prove to myself that I am actually capable of learning. Since for some reason I convinced myself that I am like physically unable to learn new things and like retain new information. That's literally not true. I don't know why I convinced myself that that's true, but it's not. Bad habit that I'm trying to unlearn. But with that being said, a couple months ago I made this video where I sewed a shirt from scratch. I haven't sewn in like 10 years and I got the idea to just like make a shirt and I did and the shirt was kind of ugly, but it's okay. It was still a fun video. You guys should go and watch it if you want. But with all of that being said, I have been on Pinterest recently and I have been getting a lot of pins on my feed that are just like these runway photos of like these. I don't know if you can consider like early 2000s vintage. I have been seeing a lot of these early 2000s beautiful designer dresses. Maybe I don't pay attention to fashion as much as I should, but I feel like people just, designers just don't make dresses like this anymore. Like I just, I never see designs like this that are just like so fun and flirty and feminine. Seeing all of those beautiful designer dresses, I had the same idea pop into my head of, I should make one of these. Um, so naturally, I went on Skillshare and started looking up garment construction classes because I don't really talk about this that much, but I do really want to get into, get more into making and designing clothes. It's something that I'm obviously very beginner at, but something that I do want to learn. So I literally had been studying the Skillshare class and like two days later, I got an email saying that Skillshare wanted to sponsor me. So this video was sponsored by Skillshare. Thanks guys. I literally was already paying for it and using it before they reached out to me. So the guy that was teaching the class was going to make a vest and I was like, I don't really want to make a vest. Like I'm kind of already over my vest phase. I want to make a dress. If you're in the same boat with me and you want to learn about something new, whether it's film, photography, clothes, fashion, hair, makeup, computers, literally pretty much anything. I'm literally just writing, naming random stuff because I already know they're gonna have a class for like pretty much anything you are thinking about. Even if you want creative challenges or productivity classes to just help you like in your everyday life, Skillshare is the place to go. Skillshare is really nice because it offers a community feeling. You can get inspired by so many other people. You can connect with other people that are taking your classes. Even if you're just bored or you kind of see this as like a self-care thing, like learning a new thing, taking up a new hobby. One more class. I'm going to recommend is called creating your dream career. I'm pretty sure this is a newer class taught by a woman named Holly. She basically helps creatives and entrepreneurs better understand and articulate their strengths, ideas, and visions so they can, you know, just help like reach their goals. I don't know. It just looks really interesting. It's 37 minutes. I definitely want to look more into it, but I think that you guys should too, because it looks really cool and promising and definitely can help a lot of creative people. The first 1,000 people to click my Skillshare link below will get a free trial of the Skillshare premium membership. And then after the trial is over, it's only around $10 a month. Go click on that link, go find something fun to learn, whether it's something that you're already interested, something completely new that you want to delve into. Thanks Skillshare for sponsoring, moving on. Oh my God, I'm literally sweating in this chair. So after I got this idea that I'm going to make this dress, I did a couple different things. I looked for a pattern because when I made my shirt, I didn't use a pattern, I made my own pattern and it was really hard and I think it would have just been a lot easier if I had a pattern because that's like what most people do when they're like making something as they like buy a pattern. So I started searching for a pattern and then the next thing I did was call my grandma. Cause I don't know how long it takes to get fabric delivered or whatever, but I still think for you especially, a trip to the fabric store here and for us to just look about and feel fabrics and for me to just talk to you about sheens and the way light hits stuff and cause all that is important. Yeah. Do you feel comfortable driving by yourself down here? Mm -hmm. My grandma is a lady like no other. She is an amazing, amazing artist in so many different ways, but we'll talk about that later. But my grandma has been a seamstress and a quilter for, hello, for as long as I can remember. So I called her and I told her that I had this idea and she told me to drive four and a half hours to her house to come and do this project with her. And that is exactly what I did. driving down, I was thinking, I knew that this was not going to be easy because I had only sewn one other thing. I knew having a pattern would definitely benefit me. We printed out all the different pattern pieces, put them all together. We went to Joann's, we fabric hunted, we got a bunch of different supplies that I needed. And then after that was the real start of actually constructing the dress now that I had the pattern and all of my supplies and fabrics. Figuring out these instructions were really hard. My grandma showed me a different pattern that she had for like something 
else that was just random and it was like eight pages of instructions and I had one sheet or like two I don't remember actually. It wasn't that many instructions. So what we had to start with first was of course the pattern. Sorry, I've literally said that word 10 million times, but if you don't know what a pattern is, a pattern is basically like a model on paper of the dress and the different pieces that you need to cut of the dress to sew them all together. So um, I actually had my brother print these for me because he works at a printing place. So we got these printed, then you have to cut them all out. Then you have to put those pieces on top of your fabric and cut your fabric out in the same shape. So then you basically have all the pieces to sew together the actual dress. That's what a pattern is in case you were wondering. A lot of this process, especially in the beginning part, kind of went like my grandma would show me how to do something and then I would do it right after. Um, me and my grandma are both very hands-on visual learners. That's something that we bonded over. Me and my grandma are really close, but it's something that we um, talked about a lot while we were with each other because I don't know, it's just so much easier to hold things and see things in person. Um, so then we had to do some ironing for the seam allowance and that was pretty much the next step. The next thing we did was just piece all the pieces together. Um, just kind of worked with that, messed around with it a little bit. And then my grandma taught me what a base stitching was. <laughs> For a basting stitch, I would just stabilize the fabric with one hand and I would just come up anywhere on that line and that, then your little knot is there. Mm -hmm. And you want this to be just be about an inch and you can just go up and down just like that. Okay, then when you come to the end, like I would just do a simple, like just go in and see how that's just a tiny stitch. Mm -hmm. Just to make a loop. Yeah, and then just you don't need it to be tight. It's basically when you're sewing two pieces together, you do it with really long stitches so they obviously aren't permanent. So then you can kind of see what it looks like. You can fit it to your body and it's still sewn together, but it's obviously, you can take it out very easily. It's just to make sure that everything fits right. That was really, really helpful. Once I had all of my basing stitching done, then we started actually putting all of the dress together with actual sewing, which was fun and awesome. Um, of course, my grandma showed me how to do it first, and then I did it after, and then I just started sewing everything together. Then it was just more sewing, and 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 just a lot of work. I don't know, this genuinely was really fun. It was such a fun process for me. Look at that posture. I know it's horrendous. I know it literally is so bad, and my back hurt every night, so I definitely paid for it. Sewing is not for the weak. Eventually, I finally had something that I could actually try on. Um, this is pretty much just the dress without the straps, and it also was not hemmed yet. I was kind of nervous that it wasn't going to be able to fit over my chest area, but it did, and it actually fit me pretty well because it was tailored to my body, so I would hope that it fit pretty well. Oh my gosh, this seriously fits you like a little glove. Like, look at this, what do you think? So the next morning, me and my grandma finally made the straps, which was obviously one of the finishing touches. Not the very last step, but it was one of them, you know, like we just wanted, I tried the dress on, we pinned them in place just to make sure that they were in the right place and that I liked the way that they fit and they just made sense on my body. Feels good. Mm -hmm. Look in here and see the lines on the back. The last and final thing I did at my grandma's was prep everything that I needed to in order to hem it. I actually hemmed the dress at my apartment, but I just did all the cutting and all the measuring and all of that stuff at my grandma's. I'm all done in my grandma's. I still have a few things left to do on the dress, but there's stuff that I can do at home. So I came around Friday and it's Monday and we've worked on the dress the whole entire time. So now I'm ready to go home and sleep in my own bed. Before I actually went home, I just wanted to show you guys a couple of the pieces of my grandma's studio and what her studio looks like because every time I see anything that she does, it literally just baffles my mind. Like she is just so insanely creative and talented and it's just crazy. See you at home. Okay, don't look at my outfit. I'm gonna go put the dress on. So actually it doesn't look as bad on camera, <laughs> but I'm just gonna say what we're all thinking. It kind of looks like something you could get at like Ross maybe. Not in a bad way, it just doesn't have like the early 2000s designer that I was going for. And I think what could have really fixed that was adding a zipper 
in the back so then it kind of hugs my waist more instead of because right now it's not it's not super flattering like it doesn't really give me much of a shape also the bottom for some reason like it doesn't really drape like it just kind of like so this is my dress i don't know it's just a little bit modest for my taste i feel like it's a little bit long like i think even like mid thigh could be really cute i wanted to dress up this dress and take some pictures you know like do my hair really cute do my makeup really cute um and i think for the pictures i'm going to pin the dress like this i don't know it's just funny because this dress is literally tailored to like fit my body and it like doesn't fit my waist properly um but that's not my fault that was just part of the pattern like the part like the pattern doesn't include a zipper or anything so One hour later. Okay, I got ready. I did my hair and makeup. I pinned the dress. We're not going to talk about it that much because at this point, I'm just doing what I have to do to make it look good, and I tried my best. Is it too bright? Um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm a. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed coming on this journey with me of making this dress. Also, shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to go click on the link down below. The first 1,000 people to do get a free trial of the Skillshare premium membership. And after that, it's only $10 a month. So don't forget to go check that out. Um, peace, love. Bye. Okay, I think that's it for that.